He became U.S. presidential candidate Bill Clinton's running mate in 1992. They were elected into office that year and re-elected in 1996. During his tenure, Al Gore was credited with cutting back on government bureaucracy. Former U.S. Vice President Al Gore is especially noted for his interest in environmental issues. Well, he certainly has, has grown a lot in, in some ways. I mean, he's grown into, you know, from a politician who I think most people saw as a very stiff person into someone who's a, you know, a public figure, an authority, a celebrity of sorts. And so he's got more of an aura to him now than he did when he was merely a vice president running for, for, uh, for office. In 2006, Al Gore starred in the Academy Award-winning documentary An Inconvenient Truth which included Gore's lectures and research on the topic of global warming. The film highlighted urgent environmental issues. Well, I think that what's happened since 2000, when we're talking about the environment, things have changed. I mean, it's clear. It's, it's really hard to, to sort of be just about anywhere in the U.S. Or, or anywhere across the world and to not start to see the effects of global warming. So, you know, I think it was an issue that, that was behind the scenes, and he's somebody who championed an issue that, that now has really risen to, uh, to the top of the public's agenda. Al Gore and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change accepted a Nobel Prize for work on global warming in 2007. In accepting the prize, he urged the world's biggest carbon emitters, China and the US, to make the boldest moves on climate change or stand accountable before history for their failure to act. He has sounded the alarm over global warming, spread awareness on how to counteract it, and made it a number one topic of conversation. Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, focuses on his travels in support of his efforts to educate the public about the severity of the climate crisis. There is an old African proverb that says, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We have to go far, quickly. We have to get all nations involved, but in order to accomplish that, we have to bring about a sea change in public opinion all around the world. And the Live Earth concerts represent an unprecedented opportunity to ask for the world's attention long enough to deliver an SOS and then to begin delivering information about the solutions to every single person. Gore's involvement in environmental issues has been the subject of criticism. Some have seen a conflict of interest, calling him a carbon billionaire. Others have questioned the validity of his data, while others criticized Gore for his personal use of electricity. Critics also ask why Gore hasn't engaged in a debate on the topic. Gore says global warming is not a matter of theory or conjecture, but his supporters including Leonardo DiCaprio, say the attacks are misdirected. I've listened to certain attacks on people like Al Gore of how he conducts his life and what he does to be green, and I think we're all trying the best we can, mm -hmm. truly, we really are. At, in the long run, it's about um, our corporations and our governments instilling these things into our everyday practices so we don't need to think about that. And, and attacks on somebody like Al Gore, for example, I think are um, misdirected. Uh, he don't shoot the messenger. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're going to attack somebody on the way they conduct their life, let's talk about the big picture. Let's let's see what oil companies are doing throughout the world. Do you know what I'm saying? This this person is truly trying to relay a message to the public, and and the way he travels and and the, and, and and the way he lives his life um, should not be splayed out there like that. I think. Al Gore has been involved in the environment for decades and has been the leading advocate for confronting the threat of global warming. He has devoted much of his time to environmental issues and his supporters believe his pioneering efforts may just save the planet.